last night. Many of us listened as the Prime Minister and then the First Minister outlined to us just what social distancing will truly mean over these coming weeks. Weddings have been cancelled. Funerals are limited to immediate family members only. We're only to go out for necessary shopping or to go to work. Even the exercise bit really is probably not top of the agenda for most of us. Yes, we face restrictions on our movement as never before. And there will come days that test our patience. And patience is actually something that many of us will struggle with sometimes, even if we kid ourselves that we do. We hear today from a Psalm of David, Psalm 5, for the director of music for Pipes, a Psalm of David. Listen to my words, Lord, consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful you, Lord, detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house. In reverence I bow down towards your holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, your Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favour as with a shield. As much as we will need patience in the coming days, so those who govern over us have also had to show both patience and wisdom in their decision-making. Many are quick to criticise or to find fault, because we do not want to wait for our desires to be fulfilled or for our opinions to be heard. In truth, it must be very difficult and very taxing to have to bear the responsibility of leadership in a time like this. King David also had to face times of trial. There were times of war and times of illness. David was powerless as he had to see his first son to Bathsheba suffer and die as a baby. Now, the rich and the powerful are no more immune from life's challenges than any of us. Well, in our psalm today, David is facing challenge and criticism, and it weighs upon him. David found comfort and assurance in God, the God who loves us through all circumstances. He prayed in the morning and in the evening, and continued to pray expectantly, even when it felt that God might be far away or was not listening or, or had forgotten him. Still, David knew assurance in God. And we too can know assurance in our day. We too can practice that patience and seek that wisdom as together we look to care for each other and to keep each other safe through days of isolation and distancing. Remember that the Lord listens and his faith, to his faithful and he will bring us through this together. Let us pray. Sometimes, Lord, when we turn to you, we struggle to see your hand at work. Grant us patience, then, to face the days ahead. Help our leaders to make good decisions and the wisdom to know the right time to do so. Amen.